Well, good afternoon here on a Saturday, first day of spring. This is Jim with Jim Payne ATV. Went out on a little KLR 650 ride. And new for this year, 2021 motorcycle riding. We've got, I think, some audio with the helmet here that's working. And that's actually kind of what we're doing today, just kind of testing out audio and get out on an afternoon ride and see how things work out. Good. Okay. Um, I actually did some audio testing yesterday, and with the setup, I have this, you call it like a Ulanzi GoPro Hero case. And it works pretty good for audio when you're going at, you know, slow speeds. But if you get up to around 55 or 60, the wind hits the audio cable off the GoPro and I get a lot of static interference. So I'm gonna to go to Walmart today and I'm gonna put some um, flexible tubing around that little audio cable that goes into the GoPro and see if that doesn't shield the wind. If I have the tubing around the wire, then the wind should hit the uh, flexible tubing first and that way the wire won't be just kind of vibrating in the wind. So that's kind of what I'm hoping. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but that's just one of the ideas I thought about. You know how it is with this engineering stuff with uh, GoPros and audio. and With the Hero 7, it's kind of a bummer having this extension cable from GoPro. It's such a heavy little cable, it's hard to work with, it's just hard to do audio at the GoPro period to make it waterproof in other words, it's just uh, got to go out of your ways, do a little bit of thinking to make it work. So that's the plan today and then we're gonna head out west, go hit some dirt roads, see if we see any animals, video maybe, we'll do that. We should be good. Gonna ride up toward Maybell and hit some roads up there and I think there's a lot of deer up there right now. And see if we can get some on the GoPro or not. Not on the motorcycle but on the camera itself. So we'll uh, see you down the road a little bit. We got a lot of wind today by the way. A lot of wind out there coming out of the west so I got the heavier bike, the KLR, and I decided not to take the WR today. It's just too heavy, or too much wind out there to be blowing me around. So, look at that. You can see that there, see? Coming right out of the west, so I'm going right into it. And we're just heading a little bit south out of the Craig. Or north, excuse me, we're heading north. We're going to take the back road to Maybell. That's just a bit too windy on the highway to keep up any speed, and I can take my sweet time going this way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll just take this road, and eventually we'll head up that way to Maybell, and we'll see what we see along the road. What the heck? Let's go for a little ride and try things out. There's some antelope. There they go. They're kind of running along. And they're going about 25 miles an hour, racing the KLR. There's some goats for you. Now we're just kind of winding around Cedar Mountain here. On, uh, County Road 7 in Moffat County. Heading north, northwest. Nice little road, no traffic. Nice country to live out here. Around the Craig area, I don't know how the economy is going to be doing because we're losing a lot of our coal industry up here. It's shutting down like a lot of places. And Moffat County depends a lot on coal, 
but I think there's going to be more people moving in doing uh, remote work with IT and different things like that, just all modem work. And there's some deer off to the distance over there, out by that house. I saw a lot, a lot of animals yesterday when I was out riding. A lot of deer just kind of congregate before they migrate up into the high country. This time of year, there's a lot of them along the road. Well, I'm just kind of taking the long way to Maybell here. I'm out on 7 still. Heading north, just showing you the high desert of Moffat County. There's just really nothing out here to speak of. We'll just make a big giant circle is what we'll do. But, uh, we're getting out in the country. There's just nothing, nothing out here but antelope and deer and maybe a few elk we might see later on along here. It's kind of what I'm hoping. So, that's the deal. Great Divide. I guess that's what they call this area out here is the Great Divide. And the elk, mostly elk, this is their migration path from let's say the Black Mountain or out National Forest and they migrate all the way west to Browns Park or the Sandwash Basin on a lot of that country. That's what this basin is here. It's just full of elk at certain times of the year. The Divide Basin makes up a section from clear up on Highway 13 in the Wyoming border to the border of Highway 318 towards Browns Park. It is majorly known for big game migrations. I am staying to the main roads today. There are many back roads that have no road base and you can get stuck very easily. There is no help out here if you get stranded. So for a solo rider, it is not a good idea to use these back roads. I know that when you try to go through the mud, it just kicks on the bike like nobody's business. Been there, done that with ATVs. Okay, we're recording now. We've got some deer up here. They're going to cross the road on us. Make some good camera shots if the GoPro will get those. exercise today. Today is the first day of spring. I'm so happy just to be able to go out and get a good ride today. I'm hoping and planning on a few rides for the channel this year. This includes a moto camping trip and planning on taking out to Rock Springs, Wyoming and and ride back through Browns Park and take a few back roads on back to Hayden. Plan on taking the drone to see if I can get some good shots while I'm out camping in the BLM. And also I'm going to try to make a, a Trans-America Trail ride happen this summer. I have not made up my mind what states I want to ride yet. They all sound pretty good to me. And by the way, I wanted to mention the bike I am riding is a 2014 KLR 650 with stock gearing. 
I have made a few out-of-state trips with it, and the bike has been a good machine on the road. Well, we're just getting up to my camp spot here. I think I'm going to take a break. Wind's been a rough one today, for sure. A lot of work with the wind riding the bike. It pushes me around on the gravel and everything else. Okay, whoa, we alrighty. Get her neutral. my camp spot just uh, a few miles north of Maybell, Colorado and I wanted to show you if you look in the front here what my uh, GoPro camera audio setup looks like on the Ulanzi uh, camera case. I don't know how well the audio is going to work but uh, that's what this ride's all about. I wanted to test it at different speeds and with my visor down and the visor up and just see how it's going to work out for the trips. But. Uh, looks like everything up here is about ready for playtime this spring. It's drying out. I got a few snow clumps of snow out here, but it'll be dried here within a couple weeks. All this will be gone, and I'll be able to bring my four wheeler up here. I wanted to practice doing shots with my drone and the four wheeler. I'm not quite ready with the bike yet to, to take the drone out with the motorcycle, but. I think I can do it with the drone and do some shots, so that's kind of my next trip that I'm planning for video is we're going to do the uh, Grizzly 450 four-wheeler along with the DJI Mini 2 drone. We'll do some filming up here. Yeah, I just like to come up here and camp and relax and do whatever, but there's nobody up here but the rabbits and the deer and the mud. There's some mud. But uh, I like it. It's nice and peaceful and doesn't cost anything. It's free to camp. Nobody to bother you, which is nice nowadays. Really nice to have that. So anyways, uh, I'm going to look around here and give you guys a few shots, maybe some photos. And we'll jump on the motorcycle and head on back to home, I guess. That's about it. Load up on the computer and see what the audio sounds like on the GoPro. See if it's a success or not. It's just not looking south of my little campsite here. You can still see there's snow up on the northern bank of the hills there. But you can really have a good time up here running around doing things. Whether if you're out with your camera doing photography or out shooting or whatever you want to do. Is that? Well, we're just leaving the camp here and gonna head on down to Maybell just a few miles. Done screwing around there for now. And get home in this windstorm. Hopefully it'll calm down a bit. But I'm hoping it's getting to be about five o'clock now. Well, we're just coming up uh, pretty close to the Yampa River. You can see how much wind we got out here. Look at the flag. It's half, half blown away. <laughs> but it does blow out here quite a bit. But yeah, we're just uh, crossing the Yampa and we'll be getting the Maybell here. Here we are, downtown Maybell. I'll show you around just a bit. This is the park. Actually, it's a pretty nice place. If you're coming up here to ride up around Browns Park or 
head out north toward Wyoming, whatever. This is a great camp spot. They got good showers, restrooms are clean, got electric hookups as well as just your regular boondocking camp with no electric. All that's good. All your hunters come up here um, to camp in the fall. That's good for riders too, you know, if you want to do that. Facilities there. This place just kind of got revamped within the last year. Barbecue pits. And this town's not that busy, so you can have a great time. Um, I'm going to swing around here. It says wrong way, so we'll just go around this way again. I'll show you all the lots or the spots for your camper. There's your water there. Showers are in there. Picnicking area. So anyways, if you're on 40, going west of Vernal, Utah, you can stop here and camp out. It's a great place. I've camped here a few times during hunting season when I camp out here. And of course, if you've got your RV, there's your um, water dump right there. Five bucks. They used to have places you could hang your animals over here, and they, they took all that out. There used to be big cottonwoods along here, and that's all gone. Now it's just all RV spots. And then you got a little deal there, you could hang your game up there. So that is Maybell Park. And if you're interested in a restaurant, that one's for sale right there. Has a hard time making it. Just hasn't had the right business setup, I guess. And of course, we've got our famous Maybell store right there. They got a lot of stuff in there, a lot of homemade goods and everything in that place. Well, we're just going up the hill on 19 here, and it's a place where I like to go camping up. There's some deer right there. You see them or not. Just about up to my camping spot. Just wanted to check it out. One of my favorite hangouts. I live oh, a few miles from here. About uh, 55 miles due east. But I still like to come up here and go camping. Take pictures, hunt, do some hunting up here. Usually I come up here every year and go rabbit hunting. But I didn't go this time. Too busy working in the house, making videos, stuff like that. Just didn't get out to do it. Wasn't motivated. Well, there you go. Just miles and miles of BLM and junipers and sagebrush. That is it. And plenty of soft dirt.